Hi everyone, welcome to 30 days of JavaScript Clean Code Challenges. Now here, today we are going to discuss a problem number 2727. Now let's check it here, 2727. Uh, the problem name is, is object empty. Now given an object or an array returns if it is empty. So that's it. So here they will give you some object and they will give an array. It may be like an object or an array, uh, but we have to check it like whether it is an empty or not. If it is array, we will check it the length and if the length is zero, that is an empty one. If it is an object, then we have to check its keys. And if the key is one, after finding it, the key is one is length zero, then we can able to send it like uh, zero. So basically they are just explaining you an empty object contains no key value pairs, that is true. An empty array contains no elements. So go here, object which is containing it's like x, phi and y 42. If it is input is this, then object is containing the values now, so it will be false. If the object is empty, then it will be true because the object doesn't have any key value pairs, so it is empty, perfect. And if they are giving it an array also, it has to be false because uh, the array has three elements, so it's not an empty. So ob object is a valid JSON object or an array. So we have to check it on two things here. This one will teach you the basics of how objects works and the arrays. Now let's check it here. By default, this function will return false. Assuming that whatever the object which I receive is having some value. Now imagine if, if now here this object, maybe if this project object is an array, who knows it? Like I will just check it like array is array now obj if you write it array dot is array it will check it like is it array or not if it is array then go inside then i will write it true or false in this if an object obj is array then i will check it like return obj dot length for example if obj is an array of uh, uh, in the third input, they will say obj is an array of null, false, zero. In this case, if I write it obj dot length, it will return a three, which is a length of the object. But I don't want it. I just want it like if it is zero or not. I don't want length. I just want to check it like three equals is for comparing, a strict comparison. So I'm just checking the comparison strictly. Is it zero or not? If it is zero, then it will be true. In case if it is not zero, it will be anyway false because that default one is also false. So else there is an another if case. Imagine if you are getting an object, then how do you solve it? So how do you know that it is an object or not? So if I check it like if type of obj if is equals to object, if the type of the particular one is object and just because it's an object doesn't mean it may have it like zero length or something because object may be null also uh, by default uh, uh, in JavaScript it points out to the prototype inheritance so it you have to check it the nulls so and and in this cases you will have you will you may check it like the object which is not equals to null is the object is not equals to null in this cases it will check it we are returning we are returning here return object dot keys here obj so it will what it will do it will check it like inside the object obj what are the key values like for example if you are passing an object like the first example which is x5 y2 it will return x comma y if it is not there, if no values are there, then it will return the, uh, you know, uh, an empty one, an empty array. Now, I will say that empty array value, that length, is it equals to zero or not? If it is equals to zero, it will return it. So, I solved it here with a big go of a one, which, which they asked it actually. Can you solve it with a big go of and one time? And uh, we checked it like whether it is an array or an object and we are returning if it is zero, true, we are returning true. 
in case if it is not we are returning false i hope it satisfies all the conditions so let's check it upon which satisfied and which got it like 68 milliseconds so it covers all the concepts of this particular question hope you enjoyed thank you all